In this video we're going to look at sales tax and commission and we're going to do the seven examples. Example one through seven. So we'll start with example one. It's find sales tax amount and then an example two find sales tax and purchase price. Example three is find total price given sales tax. Example four find the tax rate, the percentage. Example five uh, commission find the um, commission amount. Uh, example six, find purchase price given the commission. You know that commission is that, it's 11%, find the purchase price. And example seven is find the commission rate, the percentage rate of commission. Okay, okay so let's have a look at example one. If the sales tax rate is 4% of the purchase price, how much sales tax is paid on a laptop that sells for $760? So please press pause and if you want to write the question out that would be good and uh, pr press pause and try it yourself okay okay I hope you've tried it I'm gonna help you out now so we've got to get this is the purchase price okay don't we have to get four percent of seven hundred and sixty dollars right that's what we have to calculate so what we need to do is turn this into a decimal and and write that as an expression so four percent is what as a decimal four percent just remember four percent is four per hundred four divided by a hundred which is four hundredths or zero point zero four okay and of course the, the quick way of getting that is to take the decimal point and move it two spaces to the left and stick in a zero. So that gives us 0 0.04 or 0 0.04. Of, the word of means multiply. So multiply by 760. So what we have is 0 0.04 multiplied by 760 and we need to calculate that, right? Four times zero is zero. Four times six, twenty-four. Carry the two. Four sevens is twenty-eight, and two is thirty. So we have thirty dollars forty cents, right? Okay. Example two: Find sales tax amount and the purchase price. Suppose the sales tax rate in Idaho is six percent. How much sales tax is charged on a new car if the purchase price is um, $12,500 and then figure out what is the total price, okay? <coughs> so um, by all means write the question out if it helps you, it a lot, helps a lot of people to actually write all the words out so you can understand better what it's, asks, what it's saying. And then we'll try and do it together. So the sales tax rate is 6%. How much sales tax is charged on a new car if the purchase price is that? So what we have to get is 6% of 12,500. Okay? <clears throat> Does that make sense? So, I mean, this is the kind of the purchase price means the price before tax. Purchase price means before tax. Okay? So getting 6% of that, we've got to turn 6% into a decimal. So go ahead and calculate 6% of 12,500. Press pause and do it. Press pause and do this. And then check it on the video, okay? Please press pause. I'm going to do it now in a second. Okay, I'm going to do it now. So 6% is 6 per 100. 6 over 100 which is six hundredths or 0 0.06 or you could just take this decimal point and move it one two places to the left and given you 0 0.06 0 0.06 or 0 0.06 of means multiply multiply by this number one two five zero zero okay so it's one two five zero zero times 0 0.06 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 5 is 30, carry the 3, 
6 times 2 is 12 and 3 is 15 carry the 1 6 times 1 is 6 and 1 is 7 and let's see um, I can put down a placeholder 0 and multiply by zeros but what's the point in that so I'm pretty much done now right and I have one two decimal places in the question so it'll be one two in the answer so I'm getting 750 okay so 0 0.06 times that is 750 uh, dollars so the sales tax rate is six percent how much sales tax is charged on this car the answer is this is the sales tax seven hundred and fifty dollars okay now um, we have to then answer this question what is the total price well what we do is we take the purchase price which is twelve thousand five hundred dollars then we take the sales tax of seven fifty and we add them together and that will give us the total price okay so we take the purchase price add the sales tax and that's the purchase price or that's the total price so go ahead and add those what do you get zero five two carry the one three one thirteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars is the total price right